The MMORPG genre is famed for its epic narratives, immersive worlds, and most notably its colossal bosses. MMOs had some of the most difficult and interesting encounters over the years. In this video, we will be counting down our top 10 picks for the most unique and interesting colossal boss fights in the MMO genre, each presenting unique challenges, stories, and memorable experiences. Before we start our countdown, remember to subscribe. We're now nearing the 1,000 subscribers mark, and I really appreciate that, and I just want to say thank you, everyone. Now, let's get started. Number 10. Mouth of Mordromoth Guild Wars 2 Literally one of the most epic encounters in any MMO is the Mouth of Mordromoth boss fight. Mordromoth the Jungle Dragon is an Elder Dragon, specifically the Elder Dragon of Plant and Mind, found in the verdant depths of the heart of Maguma in the Mouth of Mordromoth meta event. This isn't just a battle, it's a war against an Elder Dragon, whose mere presence redefines the term colossal. The Mouth of Mordromoth doesn't just attack with physical prowess, but challenges players with complex mechanics and environmental hazards, to the extent that he eats the ground beneath who dares to challenge him. With very interesting and unpredictable mechanics, defeating this colossal Elder Dragon requires coordination, adaptability, and unyielding teamwork. This boss's impressive design, along with rich lore and possibly being the most unique fight in any game, making it take the number 10 on our list. Number 9. The Kraken Arcage while not as popular as it once was, Arcage had one of the most unique mechanics in any MMO. For example, the sailing mechanics. Imagine this, you're sailing in the ocean whether with friends or alone, whether for fishing, doing trade runs, or for piracy, and then suddenly a giant tentacle strikes your ship, breaking it bit by bit. Then you see the legendary Kraken rising from the sea to destroy every ship sailing near it. This has been one of the most memorable experiences for me in any MMO I've played. This isn't just any boss fight, it's an epic showdown on the waves that demands top-notch teamwork and sharp sailing skills. Brace yourself as the Kraken's massive tentacles slam onto your ship, testing your combat strategy and your ability to steer through chaos. Defeating this sea monster isn't just about the loot, it's about enjoying one of the most unique experiences in any game. Number 8. Walks Like Thunder Elder Scrolls Online In the echoing hollow of northern Merkmire in Elder Scrolls Online, you'll meet Walks Like Thunder, a miraguant of immense power and a walking behemoth. It's not just the creature's size and strength that make it formidable, it's the totems that can heal it if you're not careful. Walks Like Thunder is a formidable Miragrant boss found in the echoing hollow of the Elder Scrolls Online. It's known for its challenging mechanics, particularly the totems it summons during the fight. These totems can heal the boss substantially if not destroyed quickly, making them a priority target during the encounter. Players are advised to use ranged DPS to take down these totems efficiently, because if not, it's simply game over. This boss fight is one of the most hated in the game due to being one of the most difficult fights, and players even described it as being near impossible to win in some circumstances. There are also associated achievements for defeating Walks Like Thunder, such as Feller of Thunder and Defender of Merkmire. An interesting update to the game in early 2020 significantly increased the health of these healing totems making Walks Like Thunder an even tougher challenge for smaller player groups. Number 7. Ragnaros the Fire Lord Ragnaros the Fire Lord is probably the most popular boss in any MMORPG, partly due to being of the first raid bosses in World of Warcraft. There's also the fact that it's one of the best designed bosses and having a pretty good lore behind him, rising from the fiery depths of Molten Core, this elemental giant changed the game's raiding scene with his unpredictable and powerful fire attacks. Holding the mighty hammer Sulphurus, lore-wise Ragnaros is one of the four elemental lords and the most powerful of them. First found in the raid called Molten Core, Blizzard decided to make Ragnaros return in the Cataclysm expansion in the Firelands raid, which was one of the best raids in my opinion. 
Blizzard doesn't usually recycle raid bosses between expansions. This is a testament on how Ragnaros is one of the best and most interesting bosses, a challenge that remains iconic in WoW's history and in MMOs in general. Number 6. Yakmar – Age of Conan In the chilling Iglofian mountains of Sumeria, players face the formidable Ice Worm raid boss Yakmar. Yakmar's appearance is both eerie and impressive. His wide mouth reminiscent of a Star Wars Sarlacc emerging from its pit adds to his fearsome appearance design. This boss fight becomes even more challenging as Yakmar releases smaller worms during battle, forcing players to strategically divide into groups to fight them. One team focuses on the smaller worms while the other confronts Yakmar. The division of focus is critical for survival and victory in this haunting and memorable encounter, where the chilling scream of Yakima echoes in the mountains, a constant reminder of the formidable challenge he presents. Number 5. Antharis – Lineage 2 Antharis, the first epic raid boss introduced in Lineage 2, is a name known to every player of the game and even to many outside of it. As the father of the game's iconic raid boss mechanics and a pioneer for interesting boss fights in MMORPGs, Antharis stands as a stereotype of a gargantuan monster, demanding the combined efforts of an enormous number of players to defeat. His body, covered in rock-hard scales, is nearly impervious to even the most powerful swords. Defeating Antharis is no small feat. It often requires the combined effort of more than 200 to 300 Alliance members, sometimes even including those from warring factions. Such is his challenge that he wasn't slain on all servers. Antharis remained undefeated for years in certain servers. Recognizing this, Game Masters then organized events featuring this epic boss, summoning him to areas crowded with players. During these events, Antharis was either weakened or ultimately defeated by the Game Master's command for players' entertainment. Antharis's reputation continues as an unforgettable raid boss, not just for his challenging mechanics and the coordination required to defeat him, but also for the dragon's awesome design. From his gigantic stature to his precisely detailed scales and the mesmerizing light beams from his eyes, Antharis is a true symbol of pure terror and an ultimate test for any Lineage 2 player. Even now, after more than 14 years, Antharis remained unbeaten in some European servers in the classic version of the game, a testament to his enduring legacy as a pinnacle of MMO challenges. Number 4. Bahamut – Final Fantasy XIV Bahamut in Final Fantasy is a literal deity of destruction, reincarnated as a colossal dragon that remains sealed in the binding coils, because this colossal dragon was simply too powerful. Although one day that seal was broken, Bahamut was finally released, which would cause an event that would literally destroy the entire realm of Eorzea. This colossal beast shot fires that were like asteroids, which caused the destruction of whole lands. It took the sacrifice of the great wizard Loiswa to fully seal the dragon primal once and for all, but not before it shattered the realm of Eorzea, an event that would later reshape the Final Fantasy XIV into what we now know as a realm reborn. Bahamut, one of the final bosses of the base game with a very unique and enjoyable fight behind it, making it number 4 on our list. Number 3. Tequatl the Sunless – Guild Wars 2 Rising from the depths, Tequatl is a world boss dragon of immense size. His name literally means the One in Darkness. This Tequatl is a world boss that roams around the splintered coast in the Maguma maps. He was corrupted from the great elder dragon, Zayatan, and was resurrected as an undead dragon. But upon resurrection, Tequatl absorbed too much energy of the evil elder dragon, a thousand times more than any dragon minion, making him one of the largest beings in the world of Tyria. With wings that cover an entire mountain and claws the size of a player character, this undead dragon is one of the biggest dragon bosses in any game. It's literally the size of a whole town, but it's still not even close to the size of the biggest MMO dragon on our list. The Quackle also has one of the hardest achievements in Guild Wars 2, called the Tail Flail. It 
requires the players dodging the tail hits of this massive dragon. It's really not as easy as it sounds. Number 2. Deathwing – The World of Warcraft Deathwing, originally called Neltharion, was a dragon aspect who was tasked to protect the world of Azeroth from the Old Gods threat. However, due to being corrupted by one of them, he became evil, and he just switched sides, from wanting to protect the world to simply wanting to destroy it completely. In 2011, at the end of the Cataclysm expansion, Blizzard released its final raid for the expansion, called Dragon Soul. While the raid itself was controversial, the final boss fight, Deathwing, was unique. Due to the corrupted dragon's gigantic size, players had to fight each limb separately, from attacking the dragon's back to its wings to another parts of his body. While fighting this giant dragon, it's easy to lose sight of your character and instead just focusing on your abilities as best you can. Deathwing was massive, making it take the number two on our list. Number 1. Kralkaterik – Guild Wars 2 Taking the top spot, the Great Elder Dragon Kralkaterik Kralkaterik is one of the most important characters in Guild Wars 2's lore, and the final boss in the Path of Fire expansion. He is the literal definition of a colossal dragon. Kralkaterik, the Crystal Dragon, is the most imposing of all the Elder Dragons. With each heartbeat, the sky pulses with a prism of colors. This Elder Dragon has the ability to corrupt anything he touches, turning creatures, even landscapes, into crystalline reflections of themselves. The sheer size of Kralkaterik is unlike anything else seen in MMO. When players first encounter this leviathan, the very ground they stand upon quakes and trembles, emphasizing the magnitude of the creature that looms above. Engaging in combat with Kralkaterik is no small feat. With each roar, entire landscapes change and the sky becomes a storm of crystal shards, making it a spectacle like no other in the world of MMOs. The dragon's crystalline spikes glint menacingly in the sunlight, and its roar can be heard echoing throughout the entire world of Tyria, with the whole continent corrupted by his powers. For its overwhelming presence and sheer magnitude, Kralkaterik is undeniably the biggest dragon boss in MMORPGs, with a very unique design and interesting lore, if you ask my opinion. It's my favorite boss in any MMO. For all these reasons, Kralkaterik takes the crown at number one on our list. And there you have it, our top picks for the most unique and interesting bosses in MMORPGs. Each of these encounters offers more than just a battle. They offer stories, challenges, and unforgettable experiences. As always, be safe, keep your spirits high, and have a great day.